things in human life which are important. The first is to be kind. The second is to be kind. And the third is to be kind. There are two PETA employees who right now are facing a total of 50 felonies for animal cruelty and some other charges in North Carolina. They would come down to this area, Hosky, and pick up some animals and take them back to their place in Norfolk, where we assume that they were trying to find homes for them. Less than an hour later, all the animals, 31 of them in all, were dead. Killed in the back of a PETA-owned van driving down the highway. And then these two had the gall to put the bodies in a trash bag, throw them in a dumpster behind a grocery store. <laughs> Ingrid Newkirk did call the dumping of bodies, quote, hideous, but said nothing about the alleged deception used to obtain the animals. What she did was, was wrong with bodies, but she didn't cause suffering or pain or misery or anything like that. Paged by the police department that afternoon and they asked me to do an autopsy on one of the animals that they had found uh, in this van and it was a six-month-old puppy that appeared to be just in absolute perfect health. It's amazing. This is PETA's animal record for 2003 from the state of Virginia. Uh, PETA in that year killed 1,911 animals. Now, they spayed and neutered a lot. They spayed and neutered about 6,000 or so. But they took in 2,225 animals. They killed 1,911 of them. What is that, about 85%, 84%? I'm just flabbergasted that PETA kills animals. You wouldn't think it's true, but it is. I mean, it is sort of a death cult, too. You have to understand that the premise of what they do at PETA is we have to kill them to save them. Because people are bad, these animals are in trouble, so we have to take care of them. We have to do society's dirty work. We haven't gone down there to say, hello, we're an adoption agency. We're not. We are the shelter of last resort. What's so interesting about that organization is that they will talk about ending suffering all the time. They will never talk about saving a life. And if you read the website, on the website it says the kindest thing you can do for a cat that doesn't have a home is take it into a shelter and have it humanely euthanized. You know, if you're killing an animal, I don't care if it's to beautiful music. I don't care if it's with pretty floral wallpaper. I don't care if they're killed on velvet sheets. They're killed. And that is not our right. It is not ours. 